It says, and this is the word, this is not my understanding. This is what the Bible says. After we've received the knowledge of the truth, if you continue sinning, there's no longer any sacrifice that will cover these sins. What is there? Verse 27. There is only the terrible expectation of God's judgment and the raging fire that will consume his enemies. The Lord says that you actually should have a terror of the coming judgment if you're going to continue to sin after you've received the knowledge of the truth. Now, are we talking about you're going to be perfect? No. What we're talking about is you're perfected in Christ, you go humble before the Lord, and you make it your business to not allow any sinful ways in your life. But if you're consistently partaking of pornography, consistently having intimate affairs that are sinful with with your your uh, boyfriend or girlfriend, that's got to be cut off. It's got to be cut off because those sins will lead you to hell. Jesus said that. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off for it's better for you to enter into eternal life maimed with a lack of your body parts than to go into hell with all of your body parts. That's the word of God. That's not my opinion. And so let's look at this. There, you should be terrified of God's judgment and the raging fire that will consume his enemies. Who are his enemies? Those who join themselves to the world system. Those who persist in sin. It says, For anyone who refused to obey the law of Moses was put to death without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Well, Sam, that's the Old Testament. Why are you bringing up Moses? Well, whoever wrote this book is bringing up Moses. He said, They actually killed you if two or three witnesses found out that you disobeyed. For anyone who refused to obey the law of Moses was put to death without mercy. There's no mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. And you might say, thank you for the new covenant. But look, it gets worse. Look at verse, look at the next verse. It says, just think how much worse the punishment will be for those who have trampled on the Son of God. So actually, because you have Jesus, if you persist in these ways, your punishment will be worse because Jesus made a way for you to be free from the power of sin by his Holy Spirit. And you have claimed to have received that Holy Spirit, right? Just think how much worse the punishment will be for those who have trampled on the Son of God and have treated the blood of the covenant, which made us holy as if it were common and unholy, and have insulted and disdained the Holy Spirit who brings God's mercy to us. 